Hey guys, Aaron here for the love of tech, and today I want to do an audio test. You guys may or may not have noticed over the course of a little less than two years that I've been on this wonderful platform that we call YouTube, I have gone through several phases of audio. And I want you to know that my quest for good audio is not something that I am in alone right? A lot of content creators, a lot of YouTubers, a lot of vloggers, a lot of streamers are always having the constant struggle. I can grab a camera, start recording in 4k 1080p. My image is phenomenal. I've got some good lights and my audio. What audio? What do I do about my audio? Hmm. This is the thing. Audio my personal opinion is more important than the actual image. Some of the top YouTubers on this platform only record in 1080p. Sometimes they push content out on the fly on 720. By doing that, you have smaller files, they render quicker, they upload faster, and sometimes the image is just as good if you have proper lighting. But if your audio is jacked up, that will definitely take away from the end user, the viewer experience. And that's what we want to try to avoid. I want to give you guys, my beautiful viewers of my channel, an opportunity to hear different audio. Hear my journey with audio. What you're hearing right now is my voice on the Rode VideoMic Pro. This is a kind of shotgun mic, if you will, not quite a boom mic. I don't know what to call it. It's, it's the Rode VideoMic Pro. You see it on all the different YouTubers. If you're like this close, to the actual microphone, it sounds pretty good. We're at a little distance. We're probably at least two feet away. This is how it sounds on the camera from here to there. This is what I would call my first journey into audio. Now, my first one was just the video mic, and then I quickly upgraded to the video mic pro because someone at B&H in a little chat box told me that it was better for what I was doing. And it lasted is good as it could. Then I evolved to the Blue Yeti. And you're thinking to yourself, Aaron, is the Blue Yeti an evolution for a microphone? It's a USB mic. It is a USB mic, but it still sounds, in my opinion, pretty solid, which means that you can record content on your computer like I'm doing right now, and then sync up the video and the audio in post-production. This is what the Blue Yeti mic sounds like. Moving on through the evolution of my microphones, we have this guy right here. This is the beautiful Sennheiser. This was a bundle mic that came with an arm and a mic stand, which I don't use. I actually just replaced my mic stand because the one this came with was pretty crappy, but it came with a mic stand and it came with an XLR cable. And then I also bought the uh, the Scarlett i2, the second generation. And that's what allows you to connect this to the Scarlett and then the Scarlett to USB into your computer so you can record audio. Then, ugh, my evolution. <laughs> This guy right here, the NTG3. This is a precision broadcast grade shotgun microphone. This thing is absolutely amazing. I think it probably sounds better than any microphone I have ever owned in my life. You guys can be the judge of that. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna test all of these right here, right now. And you can take a look and see how they actually sound. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Roses are red, violets are blue. I don't know what else to say, but how are you? Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Roses are red, violets are blue. I don't know what else to say, but how are you? Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Roses are red, violets are blue. I don't know what else to say, but how are you? Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Roses are red, violets are blue. I don't know what else to say, but how are you? Interesting results. You actually are gonna hear the results before I am, but if you 
are looking to increase your microphone or your audio game, if you will, in the YouTube space, you have options. You'll always settle for the built-in microphone in the actual camera. Actually, that microphone is probably gonna be garbage. If you're just starting off, you can probably get away with it and it's not going to kill you. Or if you're just using your cell phone and that's how you're creating content, you can do that. But maybe one of these options for you would work as well to really increase your audio game. The way that cell phone cameras are these days, they're absolutely amazing. They're shooting 4K at 60 frames per second on the iPhone. That's incredible. You don't need to go out and buy another camera. You can use the one right there in your pocket. But the audio, you want to pay attention to the audio because you want your audio to sound the best it can. I'm here to tell you the difference between two videos, one with crappy audio and one with amazing audio is absolutely incredible. I pulled out my old camcorder, went to Best Buy, bought a microphone to attach to it, We'll see how that sounds. I don't know. Hey guys, Aaron here with For the Love of Tech, and today we have an unboxing. An unboxing like nothing you've ever seen before on this channel. Hopefully you got what you came here for today and you got a better idea of the different pricing and the different quality of the audio options that you have available for you. Guys, audio is everything. If you're serious about making videos, you want your audio to sound good. You want to impress people. You want somebody to walk away from your channel and you want them to think, wow, Wow, that sounded great. You don't want them to click away and turn the volume all the way up or think to yourself, why does it sound so horrible? You want to make sure that people that are taking the time to view your content are actually having a good listening and audible experience. Best way I can think to do that? Bump up your audio game a little bit. Any four of these options is definitely going to help if you're not doing anything at all. But if you are using one of them or you're using something of the equivalent and you are thinking I want to go ahead and increase my audio game, I would definitely say look into this microphone it's amazing it sounds great it's a little pricey i know that deity makes another microphone that's similar to this one but for some reason i was more drawn towards this and it was kind of a christmas present and that's what i asked for so i used it as an opportunity to say hey can i have that please it was probably about 250 dollars more but this is an investment into your business. This is an investment into your channel. This is what's going to help you stand out to brands, to manufacturers. Even some of the big guys out there are out there scouring YouTube, looking for up and coming content creators to invite to their events. Do you want them to listen to just the microphone on your camera? Or do you think maybe something like this or even the Blue Yeti or the Sennheiser is the way to go? Either way, you wanna make sure that people are walking away with a smile on their face and happy ears. Guys, thanks for watching. If this video helped you at all, or even left you with some questions and maybe I'm gonna try to answer them, jump down into the comments, drop me a question. I try to reply to just about anybody in Unless you're that one guy who comes on the channel and always says something really stupid and then you leave and when I reply back to you, you never reply. It's, it's really annoying. You you don't have to say anything. You can, you can just unsubscribe and block me from your life because I'm getting tired of you and you know who you are. Okay, back to the video. If you like what you heard today, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you didn't like what you heard today and you wanna go ahead and give me a thumbs down, just know your computer just might self-destruct if you hit that thumbs down button. If you don't believe me, try me. If you really like what you heard today, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and thanks for spending some time with me because I didn't know what else to do, so I made a video about audio. For the love of tech, namaste.